steps to get qualified. This is a customized program. There's only two brokerages in Ontario that can actually submit these deals and we are one of them. If you're working with another mortgage broker or whatever, you need to have them connect with us. We'll show them how to get the deals over to us that we can help them submit it. But there's a lot of stuff that needs to be put into, into place. It's not just a regular send it off to a lender, get a quick pre-approval, this and that. There is a pre-approval process um, that we go through. And as a realtor, you need to be onboarded with Arboro as well, okay? So basically what we're gonna be doing is giving uh, that pre-approval. As the, as the realtor, there's a few requirements that you're gonna to have to do as, as realtors. One is you are going to have to do a CMA. So just like you would normally, if you're looking at uh, a compare market analysis of a home relative to the other homes, same thing, CMA, um, you do the CMA and that'll be part of it. And and also what will happen is, and it's probably not as much as an issue now, but what was happening before when it was multiple offers and then people didn't want to put conditions in, we would come back and Arbo would give you like a maximum bid price on that particular home based on what their criteria is. They can turn this around really quickly. That's not as much of an issue anymore because now you can get stuff with financing conditions and inspections and things like that as well. But for a while there, it's pretty hard to insert any type of conditions in, in a property. So what we would do ahead of time was we get the property, get the MLS, but you'd already have the pre-approval of the amount, make sure the lender's okay with it. You send in the CMA, and then we would be able to go in without the conditions. There'd also have to be an addition to um, a home inspection, okay? Which um, in the case where the market was crazy, we've added a clause that say it is no bearing on uh, it's not they're not going to come back from the home inspection and say oh by the way we don't want to buy it because of such and such um but now we don't have that uh that thing so basically there's two major criteria we need a home inspection okay done on the home okay want to make sure it's not leaning to one side or big cracks in the foundation and things like that and you also need a minimum 40 days to close because sometimes i have people that come to me and say listen my clients bought a home, but they're struggling trying to get this money in from their relatives. Can they do this program? As long as we got like 40 days, sure, no problem. You already got the, the purchase and it fits within these areas. We can look at trying to get it done through this particular program. Um, but we there's a lot of stuff that kind of needs to be done before closing. So we need at least 40 days before closing, right? Which most, most of the time it's more than 40 days when we're buying houses now anyway.